All right, guys, super quick lesson on spark plug gapping. So what that means is adjusting the distance from this ground strap to that little piece in the center that's called the center electrode. So when the engine's running, the um, spark originates from the center electrode and then goes and touches the ground strap. So there's a tiny little gap there, usually measured in thousands of an inch. And basically the more power, um, more air and fuel you cram into the cylinder, the more that that's gonna act like someone trying to blow out the candle. So imagine there's a spark there jumping that gap and then you've got a whole bunch of boost pressure shoved into the cylinder trying to extinguish the, uh, the spark. So what I have here is a um, snap-on spark plug gapping tool. You can see those are the different measurements of the pad thickness in thousandths of an inch. So that's 30 thousandths, 28, 27. We're gonna start at 25 thousandths. So I just have to rotate this little guy around here. And then basically you lay the spark plug down into this little tool. It's got a little seat there. So let's see if I can do it one-handed. Kind of lay it down in here. And then you clamp it. So you put the ground strap up above the little feeler gauge part. So basically the feeler gauge goes in between the ground strap and the center electrode. And then the bottom seat holds right here on the plug. And essentially it's just squishing down that ground strap to a little bit tighter. Um, and that allows you to get away with more boost on a factory ignition system. Since we're using stock BMW coil packs that are 30 years old, um, we just basically gap, gap down the plugs to in the lower 20 thousandths range. These are NGK V-Power 4644. So heat range seven. It's a good cheap $2 plug for these cars. And they work really well, but they come at 32 thousandths gap. So you wanna put those down to about 24, 25 thousandths for a, a medium boost pump gas setup. And if you're running really big boosts, like 30 pounds, you can gap them all the way down to 18 thousandths or even 16. I've seen as low as like 14 thousandths. Um, for reference, the ones in my main drift car are at 18 thousandths. And they're also one heat range colder. They're eights and these are sevens because I'm running more boost. And uh, as you increase the boost, typically you increase the heat range. So that's spark plug gapping. I'll see if I can set up the phone and do one of them just to show you the exact procedure here. All right, sweaty and in a tank top as usual for my uh, car work. <laughs> it's hot out here and uh, I don't like to ruin shirts. So what you do is seat the plug down in the bottom here. We're set at 25 thousandths here. So what I'm doing is wedging the ground strap and the electrode in there. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. And then I just give this a squeeze. And that, the, all that's doing is bending down the ground strap onto the center electrode and after you after you squeeze it it should be a little bit more difficult to pull out like it's a uh, there's some resistance there because it's really a snug fit and you can only do this you also one more thing when you're doing this you want to make sure to get the ground strap in there all the way so that you're you're squishing it flat squarely you're not like tilting it downwards or anything like that you want it to come down flat just realized the camera's over on this side so I'm looking at the wrong place all the time um, but this is a snap-on um, CF71 tool. It's probably backwards on the camera. CF71's part number, it's like a really old school one that my dad's had forever. And uh, you can go down to 18 thousandths on this thing. A lot of people also will just like tap the spark plug on a hard surface and then measure it with a feeler gauge. Personally, I feel like that's a little bit more uh, ghetto, but you know, whatever works, as long as you do a good job and you don't screw up the plug. Now, you can only gap plugs, you can only gap certain types of plugs. So this one has a nice, I'm not even sure the material, I think it's a copper um, center electrode, but some of them are really special and have a pointed tip. I forget what the exact plug is called, um, but you can damage the tip, like STI, Subaru STIs run this really fancy like plug that's $40 each or something crazy, and uh, they've got this little tip on them, and if you put it in a tool like this, it's gonna ruin the plug. So beware, you can only gap certain types of plugs that have a flat top type center electrode. Um, so I hope that helps you understand ignition a little bit better. That will allow you to get a little bit more boost and um, power out of your factory ignition system if you don't wanna to go to like a, an ignition box like an MSD or 
or you know something else uh, any kind of ignition amplifier essentially so um, tech tip that's spark plug gapping hope you guys learned something see you next time